George the geologist here. I'm here on the top of one of the hills in the north of Armadale and check out all this amazing basalt we've got. Basalt is a really cool rock because it's a volcanic rock and it erupted out of a volcano about 25 million years ago. Now this volcano, the lava from it covered the area from Armadale all the way up through Gyra, Glen Innes and across to Inverell and Warialda. A huge area. But the really interesting bit is what it brought up with it. Check out these little chunks of crystals in here. I'll see if I can get the light right so you can see this wonderful green colour. This is a mineral called olivine and this is actually what makes up the mantle of the earth. That's the layer of the earth that's below the crust. So this lava was coming from over 40 kilometres down. And it was coming up at a temperature of nearly a thousand degrees. This was a really awesome lava. Now these chunks of uh, crystals, these are actually part of the mantle that didn't melt when it made this basalt magma. So we call, we've got a special name for these sorts of uh, inclusions in the rock. They're called xenoliths. That's xeno with an X. Uh, a xenolith is a, it's a Greek word meaning foreign rock. So it's a rock that's come from somewhere else, in this case, really deep down in the earth. And by studying chunks of rock like these little xenoliths, we can find out what the earth is like way below our feet where it's too deep to dig up or drill. Now this isn't the only type of xenolith we find in this basalt. We also find these nice black ones. These are a mineral called pyroxene. And they're really cool because they actually break in straight lines. I don't know if you can, how well you can see it in the video, but it's got little lines, little cracks running all the way up through this pyroxene. They're all breaking in the same direction. Uh, and that's because of the way the atoms in the crystal lattice of the pyroxene are put together. There's planes of weakness uh, in there. And we call that the mineral's cleavage or the way that it breaks or separates. Now, when we come across a big pile of basalt rocks like this, it can be really fun to like try and find little crystals and things in them. But it's really important to remember that if you're a little lizard or a little beetle or a snake or a spider, these rocks are your home. So even though it's really fun to find these cool crystals and find cool features in the rocks, it's really important to only take a picture. Don't take the rock home with you because you're taking someone's home with you if you do that. Uh, and I know if I was a little lizard and someone took my home away, I'd be quite sad. So make sure you leave the rocks where they are and then the next person to come past here gets to see the co same cool features that you did. I'll see you next time and I might find some more basalt for you. <laughs>